Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and join the family because you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos. So I know it's been a while since I have been in front of the camera. Um, the Holy Spirit really has not been placing me to really talk about anything lately. But recently he has placed a scripture on my spirit and he wants me to get this word out. So we're going to be coming from Hosea 4, 6, and 7. And I'm going to just go ahead and dive right in and read in this scripture. So I'm reading from a Hebrew Bible. So if I say a few different words that really don't sound familiar, that is the reason why. So it says, my people have perished for a lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge. I reject you from being priests for me since you have forgotten the Torah of your Elohim. I also forget your children as they were increased. So they sinned against me. My esteem, they had, they have changed into shame. So reading the scripture, it has been like, I, like I said, the Holy Spirit really just been like pouring into me um, and I'm going to be looking down at my notes because I, were, I was taking notes as I was studying this. So what I received was, was let's not allow the world to crowd our minds with negative thoughts about the word of you. Others may have false accusations about the word and say that it is not true. What happens if we believe this? We begin to reject Yahuwah because we are believing what others are saying. And that's that's one thing that has really just bothered me so much about today's time in like society is there's just so many people they have their own like they have their own way of saying things. Like things sometimes people just don't make sense sense sometimes they'll say things you know they'll talk about their energy the vibes and just all these different things of course going into that new age um, religion or tradition and it will confuse some non-believer I mean not non-believer it will confuse some believers especially if there's believers who aren't rooted and ground grounded in the word and are feeding themselves with the word of Yah they will get confused on which way to go. They will get confused on should I go left or should I go to the right? So just just reading this scripture, it is really just like, oh, like I said, it's just opened my eyes up so much. Um, and then I also want to continue to read down to to verse um, eight. Um, it says they eat the sin of my people and lift up their desire to their crookedness. And it shall be like people, like priests, and I shall punish them for their ways and reward them for their deeds. And they shall eat, but not be satisfied. They shall whore, but not increase, for they have stopped obeying Yahua, whoring and wine and new wine enslave the heart. This part was kind of like, I want to say funny to me, but almost in a way, because it just said that like they were not even satisfied they were not even getting satisfied from the sin that they were committing and it's funny because you know so many people will fall into sin and not feel that satisfaction like they did when they first started like say for instance we're doing drugs or like having sex out of marriage you will not feel that satisfaction um and it's it's because i mean you're committing a sin you're rejecting your Ua, so that satisfaction is gone. And this happened with the Israelites. Even when they ate, they were not satisfied. So the whole point of this video is to know how to avoid this disobedient act. And what do we have to do to avoid this is we have to meditate on Yahuwah's word. We have to meditate on his word. We have to want more knowledge. We And when I say knowledge, we we receive knowledge but then we also have to take this knowledge and be wise and have wisdom with this knowledge um because you can you can be fed but you also have to know how to be wise with the word and and be a doer of the word and number two is examine yourselves so that you do not lack like the israelites and always obey Yahuwah, always obey him. 
obey his word, obey his commandments. So he will not reject you because we don't want that. We don't want that rejection. We don't want that rejection. And just to kind of back, go backwards a little bit, just talking more about, um, about what the world is doing. This is just an eye opener for us because we're seeing that what's taking place right now is just preparing us like we're, we're we're seeing this these things happening but this is just because of you is going to return soon like he's about to return soon and we don't want to go backwards we don't want the enemy to allow us to go backwards we have to move forward so that we make it into the kingdom that is the goal to make it into the kingdom um and this, I, I really, I really, really like this scripture because, and I'm so grateful that the Holy Spirit placed this on my spirit. Let's continue just to meditate on His Word. Don't be like the Israelites and lack knowledge and go into sin and fall into sin. Just truly obey Yahuwah and stay focused in, on Him, um, because we want to make it. We want to make it into the kingdom. Like I said, He is on His way. He's coming back for His church and we want to make it that is the end of this video i thank you guys so much for watching please make sure to subscribe down below um, i will see you guys all in the next video bye